Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here on a today's review for you, Real Talk. I can't believe that they haven't done this one before. Dragon's Milk Reserve Maple Oak is an 11% bourbon barrel aged stout from New Holland Brewing Company in Holland, Michigan. Like I said in the intro, I'm really surprised that New Holland's been releasing these Dragon's Milk Reserve styles for a really long time, a few years now, and they haven't done a maple version yet. Now that day's finally arrived, my dragon loving friends. Maple Oak is here and the time is right for drinking in my basement. So let's get a look at the label, we'll get it into a glass. Fun fact, this is the eighth, eighth Dragon's Milk that I reviewed, including Mocha Mint, Cherry Chocolate, White, and Triple Mash. This is the newest one, Maple Oak. So let's take a look at the front of the bottle. Uh, across the top, it has the New Holland Brewing uh, logo across the neck. I think it's this year or late last year, they started doing this whole new, they redesigned the label. They did it all from scratch, and I think it really fits a lot better than the previous ones did. Uh, this one has a dragon scale on it like they all do. It has the white dragon like they all do, 11% like they all are. And it says Dragon's Milk Reserve Maple Oak Bourbon and Maple Syrup Barrel Aged Stout. Again, I'm just, it blows my mind that they haven't done some kind of bourbon barrel aged maple version of Dragon's Milk yet. And on the back here, it says bottled on 627.19. Uh, alcohol is 11% by volume. Reserve, roasted, malty, smooth. Proudly brewed in Holland, Michigan, newhollandbrew.com. The old ones would list pairings on the label. They don't do that anymore. Uh, now they just say ro roasty, malty, smooth. And I'm gonna use my Dragon's Milk glass that they sent me a while back and I grab my handy dandy bottle. It's funny because so many beers these days are not in bottles. This has become very uh, not used. It's fallen in ill repair. It kind of rattles a little bit, whatever. Let's go ahead and crack that and a nice little steam comes off the top and let's just set that aside. Uh, oh, okay, so the bottle cap has the, the dragon. So you that's what you would expect to see. They have not started canning this except for dragon's milk white. When they start doing that, then you should be I don't know, excited, I don't know, but they do do crawlers. They do do, they do do crawlers uh, of this at the brewery, at the tap room. So let's put a nose on it. Getting on, it's the maple isn't very strong on this. It's not as strong as I was expecting it to be, especially again, this being the first time they've done a maple barrel aged version. But again, my snow, my snifter, my snows isn't the best. So let's pour this in the glass. We'll see if it, if it brightens up. And as expected, it's it's dark, it's rich, it has like a cola color if I look at it through the light directly on the glass or coming out of the bottle into the glass. And then this head is about, eh, it's kind of building up. It's about a finger's, maybe finger, half a finger's worth. A lot of bubbles, very small, but it's it's dissipating. It seems like it's kind of fading a little quickly. Let's go ahead and hold this one up. And again, what you would expect, very dark. Um, very opaque, uh, just kind of looking at the edges. I'm not seeing a lot of color even around the edges. This is the last uh, Dragon's Milk that I tried was Triple Mash, very thin in comparison to how this looks. And uh, the head's still hanging on just a little bit. Let's go put a nose on the glass here. I am getting maybe a little bit more maple than I was getting initially. There's a, the sweetness in there. It's got the regular kind of, there's not a lot of bourbon barrel aged scent for me coming out of this. It's a little bit more maple. It smells a little roasty. The, the malts are a little roasty. Maybe even, uh, dare I say, uh, there's like a fruity, a dark fruit kind of quality in there. So let's just go ahead and try it out. Cheers. The bourbon's in there. The bourbon is up front, has a little bit of a bourbon sting on it, but it's got a coating of maple, maple oak to the whole thing. So it's got a lot of maple taste on it, but up front, it's got the sweetness, which I'm gonna attribute a little bit more to the bourbon. The bourbon kind of adds a little bit more of a sweetness. And then on the swallow, that's when the kind of the bourbon, the alcohol sting comes through. There's no burn uh, on the little taste that I had.
there's that little bit of bourbon sting, but the maple comes in after. Um, and then once that maple kind of subsides, then that's when you're starting to get a little bit more of that roasty, dark malts, roasted malt flavor. A little bit more of that chocolatey kind of flavor in on the tail end, and that's on the aftertaste, and it kind of, you know, comes through a little bit on the, as you breathe in and out, that the air, the oxygen moving over your tongue kind of brings those flavors out a little bit more, and it has a finishing kind of sweetness to it as well. I think I'm going to attribute that more to like a chocolate, more of that dark, roasty malt flavor. But yeah, that's... Again, up front, maybe the maple's up front a little bit more too, but the bourbon is on the, you get that bourbon sting on the on the swallow. Again, Not no burn, no chest burn. I'm not getting anything really, you know, burning on the chest on through the swallow, but then the maple comes through again. Uh, you get that, that chocolatey, malty uh, flavor that kind of hangs around, and that's what sits on the aftertaste as well. There's like a sweetness, an overlying sweetness that just kind of it just kind of lays there on your tongue and you you get it the whole time. Mouthfeel isn't um, isn't overly thick. It's not syrupy. It's not heavy. It's almost a little bit lighter than I would think from something, you know, from a dragon's milk. It seems like it's a little bit lighter. It doesn't hit the the border of um thin like triple mash does, but it has uh it just kind of hangs out in the middle. It's 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 not it's not heavy. I would expect it to be almost a little heavier, and it's a little lighter than I would expect. I'm going to say that this is probably um, my favorite Dragon's Milk that I've had uh, since uh, bana uh, Coconut Banana, which I thought was a really good one, but I could see how some people might be turned off. I was not a fan. I didn't have the uh, uh, Chocolate Orange. I heard that one wasn't great. And the one after that, I did have, and I wasn't a fan. Triple Mash, I liked. And this one, I think this is actually, I like this one better than Triple Mash. Triple Mash is a good one, but I think that this one is more accessible. You'll be able to find it more on shelves. It's not going to be this hard to find scarcity. And I feel like Triple Mash is one that you want to break out every so often and share with someone where I feel like this one is one that you would just kind of, oh, I'm going to buy a couple four packs. I'm going to you know try them out and I'm going to just drink it myself. And that's what I'm going to sip on. That's what I'm going to drink tonight rather than triple mash because it's so rare it's something i feel like you want to share it with other people and this was priced i, I bought it uh, a four pack for 17.99 i believe you're roughly going to see it between 6 you know 15.99 $16 and $18 i think that's probably pretty fair for a four pack but i think this one has been the best one for quite a few releases and i think it's actually i would almost rank it better than banana coconut i like that one um, on the, on the, I like that one up front, but I think this one is even better than that one. All right, friends, that has been Dragon's Milk Reserve Maple Oak. Have you had this one yet? Do you plan on picking it up? If you've picked it up, if you tried it, what's your favorite so far? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like to hear about new beer from Michigan or the surrounding states, I'm here doing that. What a coincidence. I'm here doing that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, all for beer fans just like you. It's all free. If you have any questions about beer you'd like answered, Leave me a voicemail or text message at 224-DRAFT-20. I've also been on a craft beer Discord server, so if you want to talk about beer with other beer tubers or beer whatever, brew tubers, whatever you want to call it, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can reach me there anytime, too. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, absolutely above all else, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.